Hi, William Brandt here. I just wanted to go over a uh, TE command post with you today. But uh, before we get into how TE command post works, I wanted to uh, kind of go over what my days used to be like. At least my Mondays. When some, then normally Wednesday and then Friday again. So, um, as a TE user, here's kind of what I would do. And this is with the help of a uh, RoboForm. So if you didn't, you don't have RoboForm, I don't know how you would go about doing this. Um, but basically what I used to do every couple of days is I'd come in and here's all my sites. And I'd find, go through the list, find a, one of my traffic exchanges and I would log in and I'd go to my sites and I would go through and make sure I had credits assigned to whatever All right then I realized that I'm doing a lot of looking through here and searching trying to find all the all my traffic exchanges so then I created a new folder now I can go through you know go through just the folder and here's all my traffic exchanges so then you know now I can log in with RoboForm then go go to my websites and see if I need to assign any credits or not. Go through, okay, ah. Yeah, looks like, let's see, looks like I ran out of credits on this one. All right, and then I would have to, you know, every, every couple of days I'd have to go back through and check to see, you know, which ones needed me to assign credits. Then, while I was in there, I would go ahead and I would check up banners, and I'd check text ads, and I would make sure, you know, I had credits assigned to everything, and, you know, if I was going to surf, I would see which ones I needed credits in the most, and go from there. And you see, that's pretty, you know, that only took me a minute or two there to show you, but that was only two exchanges, and I didn't actually go through each each link and make sure they were all assigned. And that is where TE command post comes in. Alright, this is the sales page. Get into the members area. And basically you follow this the steps. Step one, grab the user guide. Once you look through the user guide, you come in here and set up your traffic exchanges. Now I've already gone in and set some up. It's a downline builder here so you would put all your IDs in to whatever exchanges. You know, right now there's two pages. There'll be a lot more in the future. and They're adding them all now. The site's going to launch tomorrow so well by the time you see this it'll already be launched. But um, I right, go in fill in all your IDs that you want to use as far as the uh, downline builder and you save the referrals now here as you're going through you'll see I have checks here and that's for sites that I've added and to add the site means you're going to add your login information and add add that exchange there you go now now that your exchanges are added instead of every couple of days having to log in and see which exchange I have cre I need credits in or which exchange I need to assign credits I can just look in this list and see oh, I log in today I just log into T command post I see, oh, I don't have very many blue surf credits and I don't have any assigned. You know, or I can come down here and say, oh, I got, I don't have any credits assigned at tr swat traffic, 
but I have, do have some credits. So I can open this up and I can actually see which sites have credits assigned to them and which ones don't. And I see that I need to assign some credits. And I could just click here, open in a new window, then I will have to log into SWAT. Of course I'll check out the offer. You always want to check out the login offers or one time offers that's where you get your best deals. And I know I need to assign credits so I can come in and assign my credits. That's a whole lot faster than you know SWAT traffic. If I went back through my exchanges list, that would have taken me oh about with 50, 60, 70 exchanges that I would have gone through before I realized that I needed to act, add credits to SWAT traffic. And here it took me all of five seconds to realize it. Now you can add, you go back to the traffic exchanges. Now you, you don't have to put all your login information for all of them. You know, just put the ones in that you want to track. If you use quite a few of them, like I try to, then, you know, add them all. I still have, see, they're still adding more in there. Like I said, there's a few more I have to add my info to. And then, I can, once I have all the exchanges that I want to track in there, yeah, I've added my information and there we go. I can just look through the list and see what do I need to do. And then if I see I can assign credits real fast to ones that I have credits in already and don't have assigned. And ones that I don't have any credits or very many credits and I don't have any assigned. I know I need to go there and I need to log in and either surf for the day or buy some more credits. Now if we go back to the members home. Remember that was uh, step two was to set up all your exchanges. You just put all the information in there once. Like I said, you put your referral IDs in there and to it'll be a downline builder. You put your login information so the site can log into the site for you and get a list of all your credits. Then uh, set the rest of set up the rest of your downline builder. And there's some other resources in there. Step four is manage your credits and that's like what I was showing you already where it shows you all your credits and everything then aside from your uh, traffic exchange credits you can also view your banners and that's going to bring up the same thing it's going to bring up the exchanges that you have in there it's going to show you how many credits you have assigned to your banners how many credits that you have available so I say oh look I have a bunch of credits and surf for the earth oh, I don't have any banners in there so I can log in to surf for the earth add some banners and assign my credits same thing for text links you go in and say oh I have a bunch of text links at top flight traffic so I don't have any assigned to that, so I'd log in and assign credits. And then voila, I'm done with that. You know, and I can go down the list and do it again. So like I said, that's uh, a huge time saver if you use a lot of T's like I do. And it saves from picking through my list in RoboForm and finding the TEs or even with them in a folder going through each one every couple of days logging in see what needs credit see what doesn't and for those of you that don't use RoboForm I have no idea how you try to keep all this <laughs> straightened out I don't know if you have a Excel sheet or notepad or how you do it but you don't even need to worry about it anymore because you can just come in here take a quick look and then if you need to log in and it's that easy thanks for watching if you need a link to get here take a look in the description there should be one right there for you